Hello my lovely nestlings and welcome to today's video where I'm probably going to be doing the stupidest thing that I ever did And that is uh, use 16 eyeshadow palettes to create a look Yes, I have here all my <laughs> Nomad palettes 16 of them And um, I am going to pull my favorite shade from each palette And I'm going to create a look I'm not saying it's cohesive, but I'm going to create a look And if you're new, welcome, my name is Nikki. I am from the Netherlands, hence the accent I'm also slightly orcish, relatively vintage I love spooky stuff, makeup and being creative And uh, I'm also covered in cat hair, which is normal for me as well uh, Let me explain some things, the slightly orcish means that I am green I am a light to light, medium, warm-ish olive And the relatively vintage means I'm 46 I also have ADHD and I'm autistic, so you get heaps Yes, uh, you see the cat behind me there there, yeah, if you hear licking, it's her, I swear This is also a collab with my dear friend Debbie Her channel name is Debutan and I will link her channel name down below And I will also link her video down below a Nomad is one of our favorite brands, we got talking And we were like, let's do a collab with favorite shades or something And then she's saying that it was my idea But I have no recollection of that conversation at all so we basically blamed her husband Marty for this There will be cheating involved, let me tell you right now So as you can see I kind of did my base makeup already With the exception of blo oh, I could I could potentially already put on powder bronze or so Oh wait I have an idea, I'm not going to put on powder bronze because I have an idea I told you there was cheating involved, right? We are going to start with drawing the shade So I'm going to start with the Malibu quad Um... I think I'm going to go for this one The shade Hideout Which is basically an olive matte So in there, yes Then I'm going to go to their holiday release from this year Santa's Village And my favorite shade of that in that one is the shade Peace It's a topper shade There she is Okay. Then the holiday palette from last year and on, in this it's the shade Kaiser Yes Then from the Venice Simplen Express I am going to pull the shade Venice Because that is my favorite shade Then we have the Nomad Hudson Valley And honestly from this one I don't really have a favorite shade Because I really love them all But I think I am going to pull this one Which is called Oktoberfest Then we have... Oh, America Sparks um, It's going to be this shade Which is called It's a cave I don't know It's a cave Then we have the Fête de Provence I think I'm going to pull this one Which is called Mille de Lavande Then we have Whistler Snow Lodge and from Whistler Snow Lodge I am going to grab the black Ski Out I don't really have a, a favorite shade in this palette either So it's going to be the, the black because it's a very good black Then we have the Cartagena Magica And from the Cartagena Magica um, I think it's actually shade Alpha so the fun fact with this one is that it is a satin And it was not supposed to be a satin But I think it's a very very pretty shade So Then we have the Berlin Underground Now not all palettes are uh, in stock um, From Berlin Underground This is my favorite shade which is called The Wall Then we have the Antilles palette which is no, no longer available And from the Antilles palette um, I think it's this one the shade El Flo Floridita uh, From the Tokyo palette Oh, I think it's this one The center shade which is called Hanami Then we have the uh, Iceland palette And from this one I think it's this shade which is called Gallows Lava It's just so so pretty Very very interesting color story Then we have the Cloud Forest and I already know that it is this shade, which is my favorite, which is called Hanging Bridges Oh, it's so pretty Then I'm going to go to the Tropical Paradise Or the Paradise Island palette um, 
I think I'm going to call the shape Tiki, that one, because I really, really love that color. Okay, and then the last palette that I have here is the Haunted Europe. I think it's going to be the shade The Catacombs. It's actually pretty difficult to choose these. Because again, I love them all. And it very much depends on the mood that I have. So here we have the color story that I have to work with. I said there was cheating involved, right? Well, the cheating is going to commence right now. I'm going to get a brush because I haven't done bronzer yet. I forgot to put on bronzer. And um, that is actually a good thing because I'm going to grab... This shade, Hudson Valley palette, I'm going to grab the shade Oktoberfest. And I'm going to put that on as a bronzer, which will probably be uh, way too warm for me. But we're going to do it anyway. Never said we had to use them on our eyes. Or at least I have no recollection of that. Shade one, done. Okay. I'm going to grab this shade uh, from this palette. I'm going to use that as blush. Why? Oh, because I can. Blush and highlight. Does not really give me a color though, does it? But that is okay. I'm also, I am going to use this one in the eye look, but I'm also going to grab it for my blush shade, if I can remember the shade that it was. Oh yeah, that was from the Antilles palette. We are all zoomed in and I have primed my eyes, so let's get started. Um, well, I'm going to start with the mattes because that's, that's the easiest part, I think. I am going to start with this shade, which was the green from... The Paradise Island palette. Yes, I'm going to start with that one. So if you don't know Debbie, she is one of my um, best friends. She lives in the USA. And her channel name is Debutan, as I already mentioned. And she's just such a sweetheart. She is very supportive. And she's just a very sweet person. She um, loves indie makeup. She does a lot of the same things as I do on her channel. But the thing that she does... Most, I think, actually are live streams. So if you like live streams, she's definitely, definitely the place for you. And we have known each other now for a little bit over a year. And we, we talk daily on Marco Polo. So, yeah. I'm going to go next to this shade, which was from um, Cartagena Magica. And by the way, I have done videos with all these palettes. In case you want to know how they perform, I will link my Nomad Cosmetics playlist underneath uh, on the end screen and in the description box. I'm going to go to this, this shade next, which is from the Malibu Quad. Oh, no, I had shade Snack, okay, which was the darkest one. This is still their old formula. So very soft and blendable. And the newer formula is a little bit more buildable. Well, this collab has been in the works for a long, long time. <laughs> Honestly, it's my fault. I keep, I kept forgetting and uh, other things just happened, you know. This is a collab that I just need to film now because it's just so, so fun. Okay, then I am going to go to the black. I'm going to use the black to darken up. And picking the colors, it may seem like I also cheated there. But honestly, a lot of the time with these palettes, I don't really have a favorite shade. It's just basically what I want to play with that day. Very nice black. I'm going to go back to that bright green. For underneath my eyes, I am going to go to the yellow Provence palette, I think it was. Yeah, the shade Mille de la Vamp. I should have a different brush. Yes, let's grab a different brush. A 
Okay, to kind of cheat a little bit less, I'm going to go to the shade that I use as a bronzer. going to fade it up. I'm going to go to the black a little bit from Snow Lodge, just here in the, on the other part of my eyeball. Yes, and then that one can go to the side as well. Let's go to Tokyo for the shade uh, Hanami. It's a very, very pretty shade, just saying. I'm going to go to this one, which was from Cloud Forest. Yes, I'm going to spray it, actually. I usually use a shimmer primer. Now, these shadows don't really need it. So I'm not going to today. It's going to go here. The reason that I'm spraying it is just to help against any fallout. Look how pretty that is. Oh, so stuff. I am going to grab this one, if I remember where it's from. Damn it, I should have written it down. So it's from America Sparks and it's the shade Mammoth Mammoth Cave, I believe. Go to the shade Kaiser from the Holiday Palette from 2021 that I kind of use as a blush first. I don't know, I, I know I was cheating, but I don't know, I can. I have room, this is just such a pretty shade. Does it cover up the shadows that I have underneath? Yeah, a little. But they're not extremely opaque, so it does shine through a little. And then I'm going to go to the Antilles palette for that shade. So that is uh, the, this, this, wait, this shade I'm going to grab now. And this shade I just grabbed. Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes. So I have used those two now on my eyes. They can go to the side. Um, upper lid. I'm going to go from dark to light if I can. So I'm going to start with this one, which is from the Fire and Ice, the shade Gallows Lava. I'm going to spray that as well. It's going to go here. Oh, it's such a pretty shade, honestly. Yes, okay, that is that one. Then, let's see. Then I think I'm going to go to this one, which was from, it's the shade Catacombs from um, Haunted Europe, that one. Next, I'm going to go to the light gray, which was from... Do I have one left? This one? This one I used. This one I also used. Yes. Oh, I only have one left. Yay me! Which is that one from... Well, I have actually two left. Yeah, Gallows Lava I used uh, from the uh, Venice Simple and Express. The center shade Venice. And I know I'm overlapping, but I just don't have room. <laughs> My eyes are not that big. Cute. Well, and then we have basically one shade left, which is the shade Peace, and that is going to go in the inner corner. Okay, so I have every, every, I think every shade on, right? Yeah, wow, go me. And it's kind of a cohesive look as well. So let me finish it off and I'll be right back. 
I finished off the look with falsies from Unearthly Cosmetics in the style Dreamlike. Uh, in my waterline is a magical essence from V Cosmetics in the shade So Without. You can use this also on your lips. You can use them in your waterline or uh, as a liner because they are eye and lip safe. On my lips is a lip pencil from Curse Cosmetics in the shade Prey, which is a dark brown. And then I combined it with a just a tint from Colourpop in the shade Rise and Shine. Which is kind of a brighter orange. But because of the lippy it's a little bit more toned down. I don't know. I kind of like it. Yeah. This was it guys. Uh, I actually think that I came up with quite a cohesive look. Um, I did cheat a little. But uh, yeah. Not a lot. Because I did end up pulling the shades that I used on my face. On my eyes as well. What is it? Oh the window is closed. Oh no. One of my cats is here. And he's very much sad because he cannot go outside so i'm going to let him outside in just a minute thank you so so much debbie for doing this fun collab with me i had a blast i cannot wait to see your look and guys please check out debbie because she is just such an amazing human she deserves all the love go to her channel watch her videos subscribe and tell her that i sent you and if you're over from debbie's channel hi welcome thank you so so very much for watching i hope that you will consider subscribing to my channel because i'm just I'm short and fun sized. What can I say? Never mind. If you haven't run away screaming after that, you're definitely one of mine. And if you're still here, leave me. What shall we do? The peacock. Let's do the peacock emoji. Just because we can. And yeah, that is then going to be it for today. All the makeup that I used on my face will be listed down below in the description box. I will also link Nomad's site. Not all the palettes are available anymore, so... But you can at least check them out. You can use my affiliate code Nikki, Nikki Raven 10 to save some money if you shop there. And then yeah, thank you so so much for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. I'm going to wish you a fantastic day. A fabulous evening. May your foundation always match your neck. And I will see you soon in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.